Hey dudes, what's going on? Lush Seal here and I'm here to tell you a story. A story about my first night in Amsterdam. Um, now for those of you that don't know anything about Amsterdam, it's basically the place, well a place, it's a it's the capital of the Netherlands in, in Europe and it's known for selling weed and prostitutes. Now, my story doesn't have anything to do with either of those, but it's still a fantastic story. So, uh, I was on a tour in Europe when I was, I would have been 19 at the time. Um, and I, the last city of the tour was in Amsterdam. Um, and, you know, we got there and got to our hostel, which was advertised itself as the worst hostel on the on the fucking in Europe or the world or whatever and it uh, it was better than it advertised itself as so but it was still cool I, I like the advertising for it because it's really cool my friend actually went there later and he has like a book of it and it's really funny anyway um, we got there then that night we were going to all of us as a group apart from maybe one or two people there were like 50 of us on the tour. Um, anyway, we... One of the uh, inclusions... It's not an inclusion, we had to pay for it. One of the th activities we could do was um, going to the sex show. Um, which was weird. And that's where the story is. Um, so, we go to this place called the Moulin Rouge in Amsterdam. We line up outside and then we go in I don't know, we've, we've already paid for it at this point, so whatever. Uh, and then we go sit on these, like, what you would see in a church pews thing. They were like wooden things, they were really uncomfortable, but on the back they had like shelves where you could put your drinks. And that was a thing. And then we were like all around this little stage thing with a stripper pole on it. And so we sat there waiting for a little while, um, and then the host came out and was like, yo, what up? I don't know what she said, but she said something probably. Maybe there wasn't even a host, I don't remember. Then some other someone else came out after she left and she did a thing, stripping. It was weird. Um, and then she got out her boobies and squirted milk into the crowd from her boobies. So that was weird. Uh, <laughs> and then we went to, um, and then she, came out into the crowd and went to the guy next to me and slapped him across the face with the booby and, and then when she left he was like oh because it, it hurt apparently um, so that was that was a thing and it was weird then she left um, then the next girl came out she was wearing like Russian com I don't know Russian furry hat and clothes and stuff um, then she started doing her stripping thing and then she asked for a volunteer um, obviously no one was everyone was like no I'm not gonna do that um, then the guy next to me decided it would be a really smart idea to just pull on my arm and pull me out so he volunteered myself for me and yeah so I went on stage um, I sat in a chair and she did weird strippy stuff around me. She poked my crutch a few times and nothing was happening because she was scary. Um, and then I had to lie on the ground at some point and she squatted over my face and she was pierced. And then um, she got me to kneel and then she pulled the string out from her vagina and gave it to me, hold me told me to hold it while she did like a uh, a dance around, so like I was I was here, say, and then she, there was the chair over here, and then the pole over here, and she kind of danced around, so the string kind of caught hold and kept coming out, just kept going for a while, um, and that was weird and scary. <laughs> and meanwhile, the crowd was laughing, especially the people who like knew me because they know that I'm not that I I don't know. They were like, "What the fuck." Um, and then I was just, just just kneeling there for a while. Um, so that that was a thing and weird. And then um, she kind of crouched over and pointed 
No, she had bent over, pointed at her ass, and then I was like, oh, oh, okay, and like slapped it weirdly, and then she was like, oh no, pull, like made like a pulley thing. So she wanted me to pull it out manually. And I was like, oh no, because I felt embarrassed, and I'm glad she didn't like yell at me for slapping her ass. So, eh, yeah. Um, so I pulled, and that was, that was fine, I guess. It went for a little bit more. This string was fucking long, in total. Um, yeah, it went for a bit more, and then at the end of the string, it was slightly, slightly damp and warm, and then I got to go sit down for the rest of the show. So, that's, that's my story of my first night in Amsterdam. Um, the rest of the sex show was, uh, well, two people came out and had sex, because it's a sex show. Um, a guy and some older woman came out and they were like banging and it was weird um, <laughs> they like turned around so everyone could see it from all angles um, and and that was a thing and then after that another I think the host maybe I don't know someone came out and did like weird salsa dancing stripping um, strip a pole and then she stripped a bit and then she got uh, like five volunteers say I want to say five volunteers from the crowd not me thankfully um, and she put banana, like pieces, no, a full banana in certain places on her body, including in places, and got the five volunteers to take a bite from the banana. And it was weird. <laughs> and then, that was the end of the show, maybe. I don't really remember. And then, I guess after we just left and were like, what the fuck, everyone was like, so how was the string, man? And I'm like, ah, oh, it was wet. Um, it was fun telling people that she was pierced on her JJ somewhere. Um, because <laughs> they were like, oh, and yeah. So that's my story of Amsterdam. Um, apart from that, I didn't really do much in Amsterdam. Basically, Amsterdam is a bit of a weird place compared to, uh, other Western cultures, um, because, you know, stripping and prostitution is seen as a legitimate career, so to speak. Yeah, so, if you ever go to Amsterdam, just know that that's a thing there, and apart from that, it's actually a pretty cool city, and there's lots of bikes. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, um, leave a like if you did, remember to stay luscious, and I'll see you guys next time! Yeah. <laughs>